Ahead of Chinese National Day celebrations, the next generation aerial tanker YU-20 of China's People's Liberation Army Air Force has conducted the aerial refueling with two J-20 stealth fighter jets. Previously, YU-20 has also hosted the aerial refueling exercises with J-10C and J-16 fighter jets. The new Y-series aerial tanker with capabilities to conduct aerial refueling of all active fighter jet platforms of PLA Air Force is a significant addition to China's growing military power. The high flexibility and adaptability that domestically built YU-20 offers will make it a backbone for the PLA Air Force's strategic reform. China is quickly increasing the numbers of Y-20 cargo aircraft and Y-U-20 aerial tankers to enhance its global reach. The new aerial refueling aircraft was also deployed during the last joint aerial strategic patrols by China and Russia. From the past few years, Chinese Air Force has inducted state-of-the-art fighter jets into its inventory. However, limited numbers of aging auxiliary aircraft remained the major weakness of PLA Air Force. Previously, Chinese Air Force was relying on a fleet of only 24 H6U aerial tankers which had limited fuel carrying capacity of around 30 tons. In addition, China was also operating the three Ukrainian IL-78 tankers. In order to meet this critical capability gap, a classified project for development of most advanced homemade aerial tanker based on the Chinese Y-20 cargo aircraft was initiated. Designed and developed by the Xi'an Aircraft Industrial Corporation of China, the refueling tanker made its maiden flight in March 2019. The new YU-20 aerial tanker made its first public appearance during the static display at the Changshan Air Show conducted by the PLA Air Force to showcase its last 10 years' achievements. It can simultaneously conduct aerial fueling of three aircraft similar to the US Air Force KC-46 and European A330 MRTT. The three-point refueling system of the aircraft is comprised of two prop and drog refueling pods under its wings and one hose and drog system installed at the tail. This enables YU-20 to be compatible with not only fighter jets but also with larger aircraft like H-6 long-range strategic bomber and KG-600 early warning aircraft. The capability of YU-20 to conduct aerial refueling of H-C long-range bomber will significantly enhance the bomber's operational range and weapons carrying capacity. The fuel carrying capacity of YU-20 is around 90 tons, close to that of IL-78. The fueling system installed on board can inject around 12,000 liters of fuel into J-20 stealth fighter jet, almost fulfilling its internal capacity. After refueling, the range of stealth fighter extends from 5,500 km to 10,000 km and combat radius extends from 2,000 km to 3,000 km. This will enable J-20 to conduct intercontinental sorties with multiple aerial fueling with YU-20 tanker in a single flight. The combined operations by YU-20 aerial tankers and fighter jets like J-20, J-16 and J-10C can directly cover the first island and second island chains, proving remarkable defensive and offensive capabilities to PLA Air Force. The aerial refueling of special aircrafts like H-6K strategic bomber and Y-9 airlifters will enhance their maximum operating range by 40% to 50%. The YU-20 has maximum takeoff weight of 179 tons compared to 220 tons of Y-20 cargo aircraft. This speedy induction of YU-20 aerial tankers by PLA Air Force has serious implications for entire Indo-Pacific region, particularly for India. India is presently operating a fleet of only six IL-78 aerial tankers which were acquired for Uzbekistan in 2003. Each IL-78 can refuel around six aircraft in a single mission. However, this aging fleet cannot fulfill the requirement of Indian Air Force as India has vast airspace. Defense analysts believe that India needs to operate at least 50 aerial tankers to compete with China. 
In Himalayas region, previously China could operate its fighter jets from two air bases only located in Kashgar and Horton, which was providing a sort of air superiority to India. However, with the induction of YU-20 refueling aircraft, China can now fly fighter jets from distant air bases to conduct combat missions in the disputed regions with India. That too with extended payload and combat radius. There is no doubt that newly inducted next-generation YU-20 aerial tanker is a force multiplier which will further improve the long-range strike capabilities of PLA Air Force. The numbers of China's most advanced J-20 stealth fighter jets are also growing fast thanks to its domestically built engines. The fighter jet has already been commissioned in all five theater commands of PLA Air Force. China's ongoing efforts to increase the range and number of fighter jets and auxiliary aircraft will surely disrupt the balance of power in the region. Particularly, these developments show the Chinese preparedness for forced unification of Taiwan and to confront the likely external interventions by the rivaling global powers. Please like, share and subscribe for more updates.